Hey, I just want to create a quick video to let you in on a really cool deal for an audio recorder that's actually built for uh, DSLR cameras, but I use it many different ways, including podcasting as well as DSLR filmmaking. Uh, NAB, which is the National Association of Broadcasters show, their conference has started uh, this week in Las Vegas, so lots of cool deals are coming out, lots of cool new cameras, audio gear, you name it. But one piece that has been out for um, at least a year now is the Tascam DR60D, and it's an audio recorder, uh, multi-track. It does uh, it says four channels, but it's really got two um, XLR, dual quarter-inch XLR uh, combo jacks in it. Uh, so you can get some audio across different tracks, and it's got all kinds of awesome features, and it's the best price I've seen so far, and there's an even more incredible piece of what comes with it for free. Uh, which is Pluralize 3, which is the same price as the unit. So you're getting one, I mean, truly for free. You're really kind of getting two for one. And if you do DSLR video making, uh, it lets you record audio separately, which is something I'm going to do in an upcoming event, which hopefully I'll have a lot of uh, behind the scenes about. Uh, but you record all this device. You don't have to worry about being tethered to your camera. You throw the audio and the video into this piece of software, Pluralize, and it syncs it all up. For free all the audio it's it's basically is magic uh, really cool software comes free with this right now this task Tascam dr 60d audio recorder and i really uh, have been enjoying this thing it's got nice clean preamps you can select uh, phantom power to one or both of these channels lots of buttons right here on the device so you don't have to dig through the menu it's got backup recordings which you can do uh, like 6 dB underneath your primary recording so you can prevent it from clipping, but you also have things like uh, EQs and limiters. This is a little uh, studio in your hand for audio recording. And so at b &H right now, because of NAB, it's an NAB special, it is being sold for uh, $179, and that is the best price I've seen for this. Uh, you're not going to find an audio recorder like this at that price and then it comes free with Pluralize when you buy it. So this is an amazing deal. Now I'm an affiliate with B&H. A lot of the stuff you guys see here on these videos, when I get to test out gear, I can't afford to buy all that. So I can ask them for a piece of gear because I've been working, uh, well, I've been doing demos and reviews for years now and finally got to a place where I can say, hey, I'd really like to check out that piece of gear. They send it to me. Uh, I do a review if I like it. I'm not gonna point you guys towards stuff I don't like. And I'll tell you about one problem I did have with this with this audio recorder. But I really do like it. So if you guys click on the link to check this out and you end up purchasing, I get a really tiny uh, bit of that sale, but it adds no cost to your sale. It just helps support this channel. So that's very cool. It lets me get more gear to review and we can look at lenses and cameras and all kinds of fun stuff uh, that I couldn't afford to buy on my own. So that is a really cool aspect of the relationship. And so this thing, 179, uh, check the link in the description of this video and you can go check out and see if it's for you. And I did have the first unit I had on this, uh, my XLR, I still have it here somewhere. Um, they let me keep it. The XLR got stuck in here and I think I read someone else had that same issue. So I imagine that's covered by the warranty. If your XLR cable gets stuck in here and you can't get it out, I even opened this up. I put pictures online, uh, but I haven't had that issue with this one. So uh, as a recorder, this thing is great. Uh, I love it. It runs on, um, let's see, four AA batteries, but here's something very cool. It runs on USB power as well. So in here, it was kind of like, where's the plug for this thing? Uh, the plug is the USB, so you could put this into your computer and it would power it. But I had an idea. What about one of those USB uh, power bricks? So I went out and bought this device, which is in a case. This is made by Anchor, and I bought this based on the reviews. Everyone seems to like this Anchor device. If I shake it, it's both there. The little lights up tells me how much battery I have. Uh, which is a ton of battery. This charges basically through uh, my computer and then this power pack uh, should run for a really long time. It's got three uh, smart USB ports here which it knows how much power the device I plug into it needs. And so I take this DR60D 
and I plug in this power pack. I'm gonna strap it to the back here somehow. I plug this in and I should have hours of rechargeable battery life for my 60D in the field. So I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna shoot this event. Uh, partially it's gonna be shot inside for the interviews, which I can uh, you know, plug this into a wall or be using USB if I have to. But then when I'm out in the field, I'm gonna record audio separately and then sync it all using Pluralize in post-production um, using the Tascam DR60D. And I'm gonna use this for the majority of the power. Instead of constantly having to throw out expensive U, um, AA batteries, this, I'm gonna be able to fill this back up and recharge it. So hopefully I'm gonna get some a couple hours out of this in the field. I'm also gonna be running phantom power, so we'll see. But this is like, uh, this is 12,000 milliamps per hour or something. So this should be at least probably twice the life you would get out of AA batteries in this. I don't know, I haven't tested it yet. But anyways, that was just an interesting aspect uh, to the Tascam DR60D. I'm seeing these audio recorders, uh, more and more they're being able to be powered off of USB. And at first I didn't realize why that could be cool, but when I thought about this idea, I thought, wow, that's really cool. So I'm even gonna put in some rechargeable batteries in here. So hopefully I'm gonna reduce the cost of batteries and I don't have to throw a bunch of batteries away at the same time. Now this does screw right into the bottom of your DSLR if you wanted to attach it that way. Um, you could just mount the DSLR right here on top. And that works good in the studio setting, probably not out in the field. But I'm gonna plug in a couple different professional microphones into uh, this, one being a boom mic and one probably a lav mic. And then I'm gonna have a sound guy. You can see I've got a strap attached here. You can wear this, just a camera strap that came with my Canon. You wear this around your neck and you can monitor your audio via headphone. They have a lot of outputs, actually headphone output, a line out output that can go to your camera or a, one that's specifically for your camera. Um, there's all kinds of ins and outs on this thing. Uh, the knobs, one knock I've heard on this is that when you turn the, uh, the gain too fast on this, you'll hear the steps. The steps kind of jump as opposed to being smooth. That has to do with a digital potentiometer that is inside as opposed to an analog one. It's not a big deal. I don't find myself having to work dials constantly where you're gonna notice. Uh, hopefully a firmware upgrade will fix that. But again, it's not really an issue. Um, and you can control um, your gain level at three different levels. And I found that even on high, I still get a nice high quality sound uh, without a lot of like hiss and noise introduced into my recording. So all kinds of options. Uh, I'm a big fan of this and I haven't seen it at this price. Uh, if it was 179 by itself, it would still be a great steal. But the fact that it comes with Pluralize 3, this amazing software, you wanna make sure whatever editing software you're using, like Final Cut uh, Pro 10 and Adobe Premiere, all the recent ones, 5, 5.5, they all support this. But whatever you're using Sony Vegas, you have to check, make sure uh, Pluralize works with your software. But if it does, you know, Pluralize itself is 179. So you're getting a heck of a deal. It's a great way to get Pluralize. Um, they used to sell it, used to come for free with the Rode VideoMic Pro, and that's when I bought the Rode VideoMic Pro because I already wanted that software. So definite bonus. So check out the link in the description for the Tascam DR60D. I do have one video where I show this hooked up to uh, my camera and kind of how I'm using all the ins and outs. And there are lots of reviews on, about this online. So see if this is something you're interested in. If I'm recording audio uh, to a recorder, this is a great device to do that. It does it really well. So check it out. Hopefully some more great deals are coming. Maybe new cameras uh, are coming soon. I think Canon announced they're going to have the, the upgrade. No, they didn't announce, but speculation is the Canon 7D is gonna be upgraded soon. So we'll see on that. But anyways, those are for later videos. Uh, subscribe, because I've got videos coming about the 70D, uh, the Zoom H6, all the behind the scenes stuff on the, the vent shoot I'm going to do. And uh, I have like $3,000 of audio gear that I'm gonna be on loan from B&H to use on that video shoot. So I've just picked items that I may wanna buy at some point and I've heard are good, like the Rode NTG3. I'm gonna test them out and then hopefully I'll have some video of me doing those shoots and we can hear how that audio came out and that entire audio package is gonna be tied into this device. 
Um, this is going to be the brain, the hub of all the audio recording for boom mics and lav mics and lav mics going to little recorders. Lots of fun stuff coming up here on uh, the Podcaster Studio uh, YouTube channel. And you can check out the podcasterstudio.com for even expanded uh, content. So I will see you next time.